Hey everyone, this is the Brita Zeno. It's Fozzie Dolphin. Evil or Omega. And this is going to be our uh, picks for our top 10 movies of 2017. And this is more so, I, I treat it as like our personal favorite, not like the ones that were like oh, the yeah. best quality. Definitely. Because, you know, there's always some movies where you're like, well, you know, that was a seven, but you know what? I really enjoyed that. I watched it a bunch of times. So, uh, I wasn't being ironic. I wasn't making fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's either seven or ten. It's a seven, it's a ten. <laughs> Okay. We made it a point to watch as many movies as possible this year, too. Yes. Just to make a good I looked list. At, I looked at our list, and it was huge. Yeah. Absolutely huge. 17 that I'd seen on yeah. the list. So. Okay. You, who want to go? You go first? Or you sure, go? I go first. Okay. Number 10, I had War of the Planet of the Apes. Okay. Now, I know that you thought this was some masterpiece, but I wasn't like super impressed by it. But I'll admit it had a lot to do with the experience being ruined when we saw it with those women talking the entire time. No, 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 you know about your weave, girl. I swear to God, that was, I swear to God, I'm not being, no, that was a conversation they had. I swear to God it was. Stereotypes aren't born in a vacuum, people. This is just an example of your expectations of a movie, like changing how you feel about it. So when I go to see War or the Planet of the Apes, I just wasn't expecting a prison drama, and that's probably half of why I didn't like it. So. I watched it again the other night, and I I still stand by. I love this movie. Yeah, just like another movie on this list, I'd probably like it more if I watched it again. So, not quite a war, but still a good movie nonetheless. Yeah. All right, you want you want to keep like do your bottom five, or you want me to go in number ten? No, I'll just go back and forth. Okay, my number ten. Uh, it's gonna be surprising uh, for you, Dunkirk. Oh wow! Yeah, it's uh, for I love the last thirty minutes yeah. or so. I think that that's beautiful and everything comes together. But it is a bit slower, and I still think this is an amazing film, but I felt there were nine others this year that were just way better than it. Gotcha. And I, I highly recommend it. The 4K transfer is fucking beautiful, by the way. <laughs> and like I said, the last 30 minutes is just, whoo, that, that's what you want to go see it for. Just everything yeah. culminating together, all three of the storylines. Tom Hardy is badass as that pilot. Yeah, everything does tie together really well, and we both just love war movies in general. Yeah. So. So I wish there was there was more like on ground fighting because most of the stuff that's on the ground is just I'm sitting in a dock or sitting in a boat waiting for the tide Talking, to come in. Yeah, so yeah. All the actions in the sea and the air. So that's what it, it felt. And there's more time spent with the people on the beach too, which that's what happened in the Battle of Dunkirk. But you know it's yeah, it doesn't work as well theatrically. I think it's, yeah, it's still yeah. amazing. They portrayed it really well. Just yeah, not kind of got to choose between being super realistic and super entertaining. So the the, the air combat really yes. got, got the excitement. Yeah. Oh God, it was good. <laughs> Did you ever see that? Nope. And I'll go ahead and tell you, didn't even make my top ten. So I enjoyed it barely, it, but... it barely oh, made yeah. mine. There's one I know that's going to be in your top ten. <laughs> uh, I I debated about putting it on there. Okay. I love the movie, but I I went and re- rewatchability here. So like movies that I know I'm going to watch again. Uh, true, yeah. You so, watch movies over and over again. Yes. And I generally just see them once in theaters unless I really, really love it, and then I'll buy it. I guess I'll do my number nine. You're going to be shocked by this. My number nine is Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was super excited for it. Spider-Man's probably my top three favorite superheroes, but this one just really different than what I thought it would be. I just like War of the Planet of the Apes, but... I don't know. I liked everything about it, but just compared to everything else that came out this year, it was just kind of underwhelming. The, it, to, to me, it didn't even make my top ten, honestly. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I, I still like it. I wouldn't... I, I would only rewatch it every so often. Yeah. I love Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I love yes, Michael I love Keaton as the Vulture. Points. I can't wait for I the, hate the supporting the cast. War. The supporting cast, it's just... I, I have the same problem with it. Especially the teacher. Like, no, he's just he's too cringy. Just, just too hipster. Like, no. <laughs> Definitely. Nick, his friend, uh, you know, kind of tolerable, but everybody else, is, including yeah, like the, their version right. of MJ, like, nah. Yeah. No, they kind of treat it like a twist, too. So. Yeah, it's, she, she's just awful. Like, there's a deleted scene, too, just want to touch on that, where, like, the, um, they're driving by the Treskillian, which is the bi- big yeah. hydro shield base that, uh, I almost said Superman, that <laughs> Captain America destroyed at the, in Winter Soldier. You know where oh, I was? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that, I saw, that base. I saw that. They're driving by that, and it's like all destroyed and everything. They're like, oh look, that's where Captain America saved the world. And she's like, it's like, no, that's where Captain America uh, created tyranny and so like that. It's like, what really? So she's like against Captain America, which is stupid. Oh, uh, well, that'll probably come up again yeah. eventually. Well, I mean, it's a deleted like, scene, so we'll see. Oh, true. My favorite part was Karen. What? 
Remember that AI <laughs> in the suit? Oh, yeah. I remember that. So what's, what's the webs? What, 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 what is this? What's Instacom? <laughs> it's like, no, 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 what are you doing? Okay, um, my number nine uh, is one you haven't seen yet. You've seen the first okay. one. You haven't seen the second one. John Wick Chapter That's 2. That's what I thought. Yeah, I really need to see this because I love the first one. The second one, I feel, it, it's not as exciting as the first because the first 30 minutes kind of drag and there's a little drag after that too but the action oh my god <laughs> especially when you watch it in the 4k i mean i'm all about 4k transfers now <laughs> but um if you watch the the 4k transfer the hdr in uh the it's like the um, the tunnels after like the night well, it's not like a nightclub it's like a like a concert it's like, yeah. the HDR there, oh my god. <laughs> it is just yeah. orgasmic. You were the 4K HDR connoisseur, so you yeah. you pretty much have watched every 4K transfer that there is. <laughs> no, no. Uh, just no. More, what, the important 20 ones. times more than the average person, so. Yerick. You know what you're talking about, but <laughs> no one's going to get that. Yeah, because he's like deleted his fucking <laughs> channel. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, he's your number eight. Okay, my number eight is Wonder Woman. I like this way more than I I thought I would. Probably, might be my favorite DC movie, actually. So I'll go ahead and comment <laughs> it on it now, because it didn't okay. make my top ten. I oh, was okay. really disappointed in that movie. I love yeah. um, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. That movie is severely average to me. Just like the plot, the structure of it, even mm-hmm. the characters, it just... It just feels average. Like, she's great as Wonder Woman. I love her. I think that's why I like it so much, just her performance of it. Yeah. I was just completely satisfied yeah, with like, it. Yeah, like, as a film overall, like, just, yeah, I wasn't completely satisfied with it. I love I the, the World War One scene. Like, everything leading up to that, nah, no. I, the, the ending fight, too, with Ares is great. Yes, but. I like that. Okay, my number eight, um, War for the Planet of the Apes. Oh, wow. You said it was a masterpiece I when had, we saw it. I, you don't see this list that's on top of it, dude. <laughs> you didn't see seven other movies that were masterpieces this year. Yeah. Well, okay, whatever. <laughs> well, I remember I kind of went on with rewatchability, yeah, too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but I, I adore this movie. It's basically The Last of Us with Apes, which, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's true. And um, Woody Harrelson is amazing in it. Uh, the visuals are top-notch. Uh, like slight spoilers here. Um, there's a scene towards the end where Caesar's running and uh, he gets shot with the uh, arrow from the guy with the crossbow, right? And you got the the one gorilla that's been hounding him the whole movie, just like treating him like shit. Yeah. That's got the grenade launcher, and like the the one guy's like, "Donkey, reload this." I remember that. And then the, he shoots the the guy behind him with their grenade launcher and saves Caesar. Like, damn, that's such a that's a powerful moment. That's one of the most Powerful moments of the year, honestly. I fucking love that. Okay. <laughs> <Never seen. laughs> my number seven is Kingsman Golden Circle. So the original Kingsman is one of my favorite movies I've seen probably like the last, like maybe this decade. I can say the last five years, but it's one of my favorites in a long time. And I thought the first one was better than this one, but this one was still high quality. Like a good sequel to Kingsman, I guess. Like you said earlier, it takes it to the next level. Like yeah, natural levels. So. Yeah, it's it's a good evolution, a good yes, continuation. Exactly. I, cause I watched them back to back on Christmas Day. Yeah, and to me they play so well because you know the second one it starts with an action scene, so it's, it's, it literally is like a continuous story, mm-hmm. and it, it plays so well. That's why I think I think the second one's better because it plays so much into the first one. Like you cannot jump into this one and have not seen the first one because you're going to no. be so lost. Definitely not, and it's not going to be near as impactful either. No. With everything that happens. Especially with Merlin. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> and hopefully they can keep it going. You know, Two of my favorite songs this year came from that movie. The, 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 his, his rendition of Country Road is just... I've been playing that on a loop. I got I got the video saved on my phone. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it just, can get to you, though. It's really yeah, good. It's, it's, that's like, I, I, I tweeted this out. Like, 2017 is the year of character deaths. And it, so many good character yeah. deaths this year. So what, were we number seven? Yeah. My number seven... Power Rangers. Oh, really? I was floored by this movie. Yeah, it was so were. fucking good. And I'm just going to say right now, uh, we got three other categories. Biggest Disappointment, Worst Movie of the Year, and Biggest Surprise. My biggest surprise was Power Rangers. Oh, really? So, yeah. it. Uh, I, I I love this movie. I've watched it a few times on 4K. I think I've seen the movie about five times now. Five times? Yeah. Well, even I've only seen it once. No. I fucking love it. <laughs> 
Especially like the in fight, whenever you have that, uh, was it Kanye song kick in? Yeah, well, that's the one they used to advertise, and I guess it was in the very end, too. Yeah, it was in the middle. Of, yeah. yeah. Power. Oh, damn, power. Yeah. <laughs> we made fun of that forever before it even came out. Yeah, I fucking love yeah. it. Like, all, all my I, movies on like the outside list were ones that weren't in this, but I was really surprised by it too. Like we both kind of went in thinking it was going to be like a really mediocre, like cartoony, almost unfunny movie. Yeah, it looked so, like shit. Yeah, like it was, we, we were going to hate watch it. Yes, that's exactly. what we were doing, and we walked out like, "Holy shit, Is that, that was amazing!" Yeah, it was pretty dark. It was serious. I mean, now they're like cut, they're like sex jokes, and they're cussing yeah. and drinking. It's, There's one of us in this room that hated ninety percent of this movie. <laughs> You, you wanna... Well, <clears throat> I like the movie, all things considered, but uh, it was really slow to get to the good parts. He hated the character development. Yeah. I love the character yeah, development. Yeah, we see it as character development and like a build up for the last fight. As so. in that last fight. Oh, dude. <laughs> I appreciate I... character development in a Power yeah. Rangers movie as much as I do in a Godzilla movie. I gotta, I gotta Just say, skip to the good part. Different though. The uh, yeah, because the Power Rangers, the, they're, they're actual they're, people. Yeah, they're actual. They're teenagers. They're people. They're not just kaiju and monsters. It's about teamwork. So yeah, can't just but, throw them together. Uh, another spoiler here. Just the, <laughs> I, the I was gonna call it came the, out like March. That's so whatever. The stand by me moment. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That mm, that hits me every single fucking time I see that movie. That oh, so good. Okay. What number was that for you? Number seven, right. so your six. Number six, my number six is Thor Ragnarok. So this is where we get into like all these movies, like at least a nine to me. Like I loved everything else on the list. I like Thor, but it kind of threw me off at first because he was trying to be too funny. Like it's the kind of movie where they're trying to throw in a joke just every two seconds. Like even super, super serious parts, they tried to throw in a joke and it just completely threw me off. It took me out of it. It places. worked for me. It worked for me. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, at the, even at the very beginning, they were just hammering in jokes. <laughs> See, that's wait, what it, wait, wait. Let me come around. <laughs> I that, love that's it. what it threw me off the most, though. Like I slowly had to get used to it. But even like at the climax of the movie, they're trying to be super serious. You know, bad things are happening, and they're still throwing in jokes. So that's only a nitpick, though. It's like, oh, I hey, still loved it. Cor, uh, Cor, 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 where you want to go? Ask, ask Mike where he's from. Oh, Mike's dead. Say <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, let's see, what my number six? Yeah, uh, Kings win the Golden Circle. Nice. So there's really not too much more we can add to that. No. So, but I yeah, we're probably gonna start repeating each other. Yeah. Uh, number five. Well, number yeah. five is Power Rangers. So. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that that went higher for you then, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. Well, I grew up watching Power Rangers more than you did. Pretty sure. So, so I, was, I, I don't. I guess I was hyped for it, but like we said, we weren't expecting much. Yeah, it's, it's like me going to the Michael Bay Transformers movies. Exactly. That's the perfect <laughs> comparison for it. Uh, let's see. My number five is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume oh, 2. I, That's not even in my top ten. <laughs> I love this movie. and I Here's the thing. Walking out of it the first time, it had that effect that you said where they're, they're cracking jokes when they're super serious and it's just yeah. nah, And they bookend everything with the fucking joke when it doesn't need to be needed. I, I was like, oh, you know, I didn't like some side stories and things like that. All that went out the fucking window and I watched the movie a second time and a third time. Every time I watch this movie, it gets way better. Like, it grows on me more and more and more and more and more. If I'd watched it before I'd seen this, it probably would have been my number four slide. <laughs> wow. I swear to God. It, it, <laughs> it, fucking, uh, I love, uh, so good. <laughs> Just like even, um, the villain, I don't want to say it, but the villain I thought is very impactful. Uh, you're watching it again and again and again, mm-hmm. especially that person's performance, so fucking good. And the the I thought the soundtrack was kind of meh the first time we saw it, mm-hmm. but listen to it and watch the movie over again. I had to actually end up buying the damn disc. Oh yeah, you did just a couple days ago. Yeah, right? I, did, I didn't even buy the disc for the first movie, and I love all those songs <laughs> for the first movie. But this wow. one, I'm like, I'm way more attached to these songs because they're more personal. I like that. I probably would like it more if I saw it again. Yeah, we definitely need to watch it again sometime. Yeah, we need to rewatch a bunch of these just <laughs> for, you know, me to, I guess, get it more. I don't know. The HDR on the fucking... Yeah, you did show me that. That does look amazing. It's just mm, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's number four for me. Yeah. should be. I mean, number four was Logan. I almost forgot about this one because it's been so long since we saw it. It came out, what, March? Yeah. Like, early, yeah. So it was like, like right around our birthdays. Yeah. I, I don't know. Just It was... Grittier than I expected, and it just really stuck with me. 
just how surprisingly dark they can make an X-Men story. I mean, having fucking Professor X drop fucks, you know, that's just... Yeah, that was also really weird about it, so everyone dropping F-bombs. And just being, being a rated R movie made I it a completely that, different experience. I like that. Oh, it, that. It was... It was, it, it was well, I don't know. I, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the Professor X is... Like, try the new case of... Taco Bell, yeah. (laughs) Advertisement. What was it? The case of Lupa or something? Yeah, something like that. Like, (laughs) you can get chicken or steak. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking love that. Uh, We're number four? Yeah. Thor Ragnarok. All right. Which, you know, I put that above Guardians just because I enjoyed it more the first time. So, you know, I might like it more in PVX. I've only seen it once. But you could probably interchange these two because they're so similar to me. I've, like... Marvel full force. Oof. Early in the year, like I was so disinterested in Marvel at this point, just because Guardians kind of put me off, and then um, Iron Fist was god awful. I didn't even bother watching Iron Fist, <laughs> and then Defenders was super disappointing. I've so, not heard good things about that. So it's just like it, w- it went downhill, and then um, after Guardians two came out on Blu Ray, and I started watching and watching and watching, I'm like, oh, this this is actually really great. The Ragnarok came out, like I'm in Punisher. I'm on such a fucking Marvel high right now going into Black Panther and Infinity War. I'm like, yes, I'm, I'm so... Black Panther better not fucking suck. If it does, I'm going to hate myself. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good to me, the trailer at least. Yes. So, so number three. Number three is Last Jedi. So this is the movie that I need to see again more than anything else because we both came out of this confused on how we felt about it like most people did. But... um I don't know. I don't, I don't want to judge it too harshly like some people are. I mean, some people are saying it shouldn't be canon, you know, just flipping out over it. But, I mean, I can't deny it was entertaining, though. Like, it blew our mind several times during the movie. I'm going to have a shocker here. It's not on my list. <laughs> it's not in your top ten? <laughs> wow. If now, I you've had, been defending it more than anybody. If I had Twitter a number lately. 11, it would be my number 11. Really? Just because I think, like I said, rewatchability. That's what I went off of there. Like, movies that I know I'd watch over and over True. again. And... While I love it, and I definitely could watch it a lot, it, I think The Force Awakens is more rewatchable, just because it's more fun, I think it's so less, too. Less, less heavy. And On uh, Twitter, you gave Last Jedi like a 9.8. Yeah, like quality-wise, yes. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Like, re- rewatchability is a totally True. different factor. I don't know, this is the first time I've been super hyped for a movie in a long time, probably since like maybe Civil War, so this is definitely my most hyped movie of the year. But it, like I said, it was entertaining. I can't deny that. I mean, it had a lot of small issues. Yeah. But... Like I said, the like Canto bite didn't bother me at all the second time I saw it. So it they it, it flew yeah. by because all the first time we watched it, like oh this is gone on forever. Yeah. I don't care about the stupid <laughs> casino planet. And then second time it just flew by. True. So that's all I got on that. Oh, number three. Yeah. My number three. It. Oh really? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we all love this one. I it, love that movie. It it, it already was going to be better than the original because the original is garbage. There you go, down I mean, boats at the wazoo. The first one is like a made-for-TV series, yeah. basically. It's not even made a movie. It like, it's a mini-series. Yeah, it? it aired on, like, what, CBS? ABC. The, not ABC. Which is a Disney channel. Yeah. So, yeah, it, this one was super gritty. Like, yeah. it, it does not hold back. Even from the first scene, it does not hold back on its R rating. And it, oh, loved it. Uh What's it? Bill Skarsgård? Or is it Alex? Bill or Alex? Bill? I guess. Yeah. Bill Skarsgård. Yeah. I, I guess. I can't remember if it's Bill or Alexander. I think it's Bill. Okay. But yeah, it's the Skarsgård kid. Mm. He's amazing as Pennywise. Yes. <laughs> and I just, I can't wait for the 4K that comes out on Tuesday. So, oh, this Tuesday? Yeah. Well, I'm going to hold out for the director's cut, probably. It's supposed to have like an extra 15 minutes. 15 minutes won't change the movie for me. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm pretty patient with Bond movies, though, unlike you, so <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll definitely... I gotta wait. get that 4K transfer. <laughs> nah. Number two. My number two is Baby Driver. So I just love so many actors in this movie. Like, I'm a huge fan of John Hamm, and him and Jamie Foxx both just made this movie. And uh, what's the main character's actor? Like, Ansel something? Ansel Igor? An- yeah. I really like him, too. He's probably going to be in a bunch more movies in the next few years. That didn't make my top ten. Uh, oh, really? I, I haven't had the drive to rewatch it. Uh, mm-hmm. I never bought it either. But I, I feel like I would rock it better the second time if I did watch it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for me, I just didn't. I didn't buy the romance. And in retrospect, yeah, that was shaky. Uh, to me, it was so action packed. 
I yes. was just in it. The oh, the time. action was amazing. And that's why I like it so much. Uh, but I hated how everything was timed to the music. Fucking everything was timed. Uh, that was my favorite part about it. I love that, the music. In that grained on me too. I like it when really? uh, when well, when it first but, started. We thought it was cringy. Like this can't be how the movie is. But I, yeah. I got into it really quickly. And in retrospect, Kevin Spacey calling a teenager boy baby. <laughs> Ooh, that's true. This, this movie might not age well. <laughs> Did not consider that. It, it, it worked. So you, because we got it in at work in full case. Yeah. Whenever after that controversy <laughs> happened, I got like one of our only at you know blank store. I don't want to say where I work at stickers, and I stuck it over every single one of uh, his face on every single case. <laughs> wow. I, I liked it so much that I think I bought it on 4K like day one. Yeah, you did. Which I never do, but that's how much I liked it. I definitely need to reset it again, but... I'll bring it over next time. We'll have to watch oh, it. Yeah, that'd be great. You haven't seen it either, have you? Nope. Yeah, dude, dude, the action scenes are awesome. Uh, oh, we didn't talk about Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx is awesome in that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My number two. Mm-hmm. Logan. I thought you put it higher than me. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh... Ooh, I, I custom built a fucking uh, hot toy out of that thing, so, you know. And this one, I remember you did call Masterpiece coming out of it, so. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I wouldn't go quite 10, but it was, oh. Oof. Mm. Uh, it's, it's, I, I feel like there's a section towards the end um, where it drags just a little bit, where he's waking up, falling asleep, waking up, falling asleep, waking up, falling asleep. That's true. Yeah. That's it. That's the only part that sucks about the movie. I mean, it's, yeah, it's nitpicky too. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, it really is. <laughs> Every single fucking it, uh, if if that is indeed the last time you Jackman plays Wolverine, I'm good. No, oh, I'm completely satisfied with that. Yes, <laughs> I mean, at this point, it'd be bad if he even did play it again because it's just that perfect of a send off for him. The only way he can truly he's, get it to come back now if he actually does the black and yellow. True, he's been doing this role for I think 16 years. Now. 17. Seven. Oh, man, yeah, it came out in 2000. First X Men with So it. technically 18 since they filmed the oh 1999. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, like, maybe he has a cameo in Deadpool 2. We'll see. I doubt it. I hope so. That'd you be know. amazing. That comes to my number one was It. It? Yeah, okay. I just. I grew up liking the first one so much, and I was really excited for this one, and it just stuck with me that much. Like, this is the one movie that I just wanted to show as many friends, like, as soon as possible. Like, that's one where I got everyone I knew, like, to try to go see it. Because it's just that <laughs> much of an interesting experience to me. I love that movie. And it's such an improvement over the original. Uh, okay, my number one. Okay. It's a movie everybody hated but me. Oh, no. Blade Runner 2049. <laughs> I forgot. All right, I just realized you forgot that and Justice League on the overall list. But it just hit me doing this video. No, so. I, I thought I hit Justice League. But I'll bring it, up what you sent me earlier. All right, yeah. Anyway, go on with that. Yeah, fuck I never right. saw the original Blade Runner, so it wasn't as impactful to me. I think the original Blade Runner is fucking garbage. So <laughs> hey, you did put it on here, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> it, uh, I don't like the original Blade Runner. It's too slow. It's too preachy. It, visually, it's great. The soundtrack's awesome, but the, the original it just never really clicked with me. I appreciate it cinematically what it's done for cinema and sci-fi in general. But Blade Runner 2049, oh my god. This movie is, like, masterpiece through and through. <laughs> 10 out of fucking 10. I enjoyed it. Visuals were amazing. Absolutely stunning. I can't wait for that 4K, which comes out in two weeks. I, I, I It's my week that I have vacation. I plan to watch this movie four times <laughs> nice. in a row. It's a three-hour movie. <laughs> yeah, let's say. God. <laughs> I hate to knock a movie for its length, but that movie it did go on. Did you hear the original cut was four hours? <laughs> no. Yeah. So that was the edited version oh, that we got. God. Wait, you mean they couldn't take anything out of there and put that other stuff in? There was nothing they could have replaced? That's crazy. I fucking love that movie. It's so good. I did not like it. Yeah, you did. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Want to get to the, the secondary list now? The, like, the biggest appointment? In yeah, movie? yeah. So I have the most disappointing being... Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Like, I couldn't even pinpoint why I didn't like it. 
it was just uh, so group. off to me. Not even that. It didn't bother me at all. See, it's, for me, like it just wasn't as instantly likable as the first. Yeah, I think that's it. And th- this one, it definitely grows on you because it's a it's a different story. It's different mm-hmm. than any other Marvel movie, even though it's you know super funny and things like that. Like it's more personal. It's more about the nuances and things like that. True. It's it's all it's all about that son and father relationship, which you know two sides of that. So it, it oh, I love that movie. <laughs> Uh, my biggest disappointment, shocker, Alien Covenant. Oh, yeah. A movie I saw four times in the theaters this year. You did. Yeah. Free. And Back it's, and forth on your opinion on that one, too. It's not... I mean, I, the it's, movie, it's like that for every Alien fan, though, not just yeah. you. The It's not the movie itself. I think the movie itself is well made. You just hate Ridley Scott. I fucking hate Ridley <laughs> Scott. I need to film my, my rant. I've been wanting to film this rant video since yeah, fucking yeah. May. If you okay. ever met him in person, what would you actually do? I would spit in his fucking That's face and say, get say. the fuck away from my franchise, you old fucking dirty cunt. Oh my gosh. I would. I hate the man. <laughs> I, I do. Every single fucking thing that comes out of his mouth lately is yeah, pure it, garbage. It doesn't make it easy. He's like George lucas in it. Yeah. Like he's trying to ruin the original stuff well, by well, adding stupid shit into it. I think the beast is cooked, and I think we should make it all about the androids. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no! He fucking said that. That's a real yeah, fucking oh, thing. Yeah, I saw that. It's like, no, you fucking idiot. No, you have a you have a franchise that you helped spearhead that has a sequel this year that's all about androids. It's called Blade Runner. Make more Blade Runners. 2049 is awesome. Just do that again. Don't fucking ruin Alien, you fucking bastard. <laughs> okay. See, this is why I need to do the rant oh, video. I, I never did the Justice League one either. Oh my god! Oh yeah, that's a bunch of stuff you should make. Uh, then I have. Um, I'll do biggest surprise next. My biggest surprise was Lego Batman. So I think we only watched this once. Uh, Xbox One X people got it for free. Maybe it was some time before that. But I just remember I was over here and we just wanted something random and silly to watch. Yeah. And I remember like no, this. I got the Blu-ray. Oh okay. This was ten times funnier than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like childlike, you know, poop humor. But this was like legit funny. Like making almost 25-year-olds And this, this pales in comparison to the original Lego movie, by the way. The, the original Lego it's movie, funnier. it's, it's, oh, it's a masterpiece. Well, we just know so much about Batman. I feel like we got 99% of the references <laughs> in it, too. I, I love that the Bane so, in this had the Dark Knight Rises yeah. voice. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> There's so many inside jokes for Batman people. Okay, I guess you can go ahead and segue into your worst movie of the year. You want to do your... Oh, yeah, you said it earlier. I made it a point to make mine that were outside the top ten. But my overall worst movie... Was Transformers the last night? <laughs> that was worse than the Emoji Movie for you. Yes, and I'll tell you why. You remember my reaction going into the Emoji Movie? I, I was borderline skipping frolicking in the parking lot because I was that excited to experience the cringe <laughs> that I wanted to see. <laughs> like we made it a point to watch Emoji Movie because we knew how cringy it would be. And that's the kind of movie, it's like The Room, to where you can watch it and hate watch it and make fun of it and it'd be a good time because it's that bad. No. But The Last yeah, Night was just painful. I hated the humor. <laughs> I just, it's well, probably, the humor is probably the worst part. And it was all, also like three hours. Of all the masters I've ever served, oh, you were the coolest. Uh, no. It was awful, it was an awful line. I like it I a lot better it. now. <laughs> really? I, since I've seen Boy, it on 4K, the transfer, yeah. the, the transfer helps. I really like the robot butler hum- humor thing. No, Co- Cogsman is... Cogsman. No, no, no. That's why I like it. No. I just thought it was completely stupid and terrible. I couldn't even laugh at it. I was just... I'm a, I think I remember being angry in the theater. <laughs> you gotta admit, the visuals were beautiful, though. The three yeah, but that, that can't carry a movie for me. <laughs> you haven't seen Gods of Egypt. I don't care. No, that movie looks like shit. I have the 4K. <laughs> I, I stopped 10 minutes in because it was awful. <laughs> So I guess that explains your worst movie. <laughs> yeah, the Emoji movie. It's, it's it, that that was the worst experience I've ever had. You get what I'm saying? Though? I drug you to Transformers. You drug me to the Emoji that movie. That's very it's, true. It's fair. We're done. We're serious. Like, uh, <laughs> like we almost made each other see the yes. other movie. It's like we, we were just like we just took like a road trip to Kentucky just yeah. to go to Kentucky, and, and that was the best time to see it because no one would know us there. <laughs> you just you literally <laughs> like marched your happy ass up to the counter. One ticket to the Emoji I was movie. I so excited. 
to experience this because I knew how bad it would be. Yeah, I just like, <clears throat> I wish we could have filmed like every like what we did there because like you were like, <laughs> "What ticket to the emoji movie, please?" And then I'm just like, "What he got?" <laughs> <laughs> And the, the girl that was taking the ticket, oh she, she just she's like, all right, shoot. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, I'm having a good time. And then there was... <laughs> okay, this, guys, this movie was so bad that even, like, the kids didn't enjoy it. It's a kid's movie, and even the kids were like, ugh. Uh, I've thought about buying it on 4K ju- ju- just so we, we could have, like, parties and watch it, yeah. but... I don't know if I want to waste that kind of money but on that shitty movie. Emoji Movie is a 2017, is what Pixels was a 2015. But it's funny because when we saw that, we thought this is the worst movie we've ever seen. But that's been two and a half years. And think of how many movies we've seen that are so much better. Or no, so much worse. Than Even Pixels. just that year with Van Forstick. That- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a few months later. Yeah. yeah, that was awful. And then Ridiculous 6, that same year. Oh. There's been so many movies. Oh. That are just eclipse pixels. Yeah, pixel. So. I mean, if we watch it again, we'd probably be like, you know what, that's actually all right. <laughs> Jerry be like, see, see, and, see, and see, see. Yeah, I would probably give it a seven compared to what I've been through since then. Yeah, it's the... Uh... Ah, you finally see it from my point of view, don't you? But you said it in 2015. <laughs> So it's, uh, it's like we thought that was the bottom of the barrel, but we no, did. we had to climb through 30 <laughs> mount, mountains of shit. We were so wrong. I saw it. Mojo movie was at least entertaining. No. In a way. No. It was, <laughs> that was fucking awful. That was, I wish fucking TJ Miller did kill himself after that shit. <laughs> but we better not get a sequel. Because if we get a fucking sequel... I don't, I, think know, it, I don't think it performed well. No, we did. Really? Wow. So you know, if we get a sequel, you know I'm, you're gonna fucking. We're gonna drag watch my, it. We'll yeah. go to we'll go to Kentucky again just to watch it. Same theater. Yes. <laughs> we'll track down that shitty theater. <sighs> it probably burned down by then. <laughs> it actually looked nice on the inside, but the outside just looked like some fucking weird ass random just, porn theater. It did. <laughs> it had, like grass growing out <laughs> of the side of the building. <laughs> yeah, bad shape, yeah. Uh, well, right. that's, that's long enough. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be Pretty it for this video. If you have questions, concerns, leave them in the comments down below. And let's know what your favorite movies were of 2017. We'll see you guys in the next video.